Hello, Ashcan students. Welcome to this tutorial. Here, we'll be covering some tips on how you can make the most out of your online class experience with your respective Ashcan instructors. We'll be using a program called Zoom. If you haven't already done so, please contact your respective Ashcan branch managers who will help you create an account in your system. Then proceed to download the Zoom app for your desktop at www.zoom.us forward slash download. Your instructors can send you an email invite with just your email address, but adding your Zoom account to your system makes for a smoother experience when our instructors are trying to start a session with their students. Make sure you're using a laptop or computer that has a camera. And also make sure that you have a headset or earphones prepared with a mic to prevent feedback. Around 15 minutes before the scheduled time for your class, please open up the Zoom app so that your instructors can invite you to the session. Make sure that you have all your materials prepared by your computer, ready to start the class. Within this 15 minute window, your instructor will invite you to the class session and you'll receive a pop-up that looks like this. Please click accept. On this pop-up, please click join with video. Just for the sake of the tutorial, I will be clicking join without video. But this is a feature that you can turn on and off during the session as well. The instructor will always be the host of every online class session. Once you're accepted into the class, you may click test speaker and microphone before you click join with computer audio. Now we've successfully entered the online class session. In the place of the Ashcan logo, this is where you'll see your instructor live. In most cases, the class session will consist of other students as well. And depending on who is speaking in the given moment, that user's video will enlarge as the main screen. In the beginning of class, the instructor will take some time to welcome everyone in as a group and give instructions on what will be covered in the session. Now, in the case where the group is working on a similar assignment, the whole session may be facilitated by the instructor with everyone in one meeting like this. However, if each student is working on a different curriculum or project, the instructor will most likely create something called breakout rooms. You may be put into a breakout room to receive one-on-one -on -one instruction with your instructor, or there may be other students put in the same room with you if you are all working on the same curriculum or project. Once the host sends you the invite, you'll see a pop-up that looks like this. Please click Join Breakout Room, and here we go. There are a couple other tools that may be helpful to use. Through the chat button on the bottom menu, whether you're in the main session or in a breakout room, you may message your instructor privately with any questions you have. You can also use this pop-up to send and receive files to and from your instructor, as you can see through this menu. If you click by your video box up here, there are a couple other functions that may be useful to you as well. The main one may be mute my audio, if the space that you're in happens to be noisy at the given moment. Now, most likely for majority of the session, the instructor will be navigating in and out of all the breakout rooms to help other students. If your instructor is not present in your breakout room with you, and you need immediate assistance, click on ask for help and then proceed to click invite host. The instructor will receive a notification and join you shortly. In the case you need to see a live demo, your instructor will start a screen share from their phone. This is what it will look like from your end. You may also use this function as well, especially if you're a digital student. Click the share screen button at the bottom of the menu and you'll be met with a variety of options. Within the same class session, there may be other students who have not signed up for the full four hours. 
If this is the case, at the second hour and at the third hour, your instructor will most likely be helping out these students wrap up their session. Please take note of this possibility. Around the end of the session, the instructor may wish to bring back all the students together again to wrap up the class. If this is the case, the instructor will close all the breakout rooms, but please make sure to click Leave Breakout Room in the bottom right corner on your end as well. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in there with no host. The final thing to do is take pictures of your progress from that class and send it to your instructor. They will be updating your progress pictures on Evernote, as usual. You may send these files directly to your instructor's email, or you may utilize the chat through Zoom. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. It was very general and brief, but we hope that this serves to be helpful in getting to be comfortable with using this program. Let's not let this virtual class experience limit us from creativity. Thank you for watching. We hope you have a fruitful class with your Ashcan peers and instructors.